pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Taylor Trent from Sports Vision, and I am on a hunt for athletes. Let's go. Alright, before I find my athletes, gotta get you. Yeah! Now I'm ready! Let's go! I'm here with two of our finest swimmers, Gabby and Spencer, and they're gonna tell us a little bit about the swim team season. How'd it go, guys? It was the best season yet so far. I'm a senior this year, and so far. Record this year out of all four years, nine and two, and we're very excited about that. How do you feel, Spencer, yeah. as a freshman on the team? The swim season was wet and cold. Swimming is a lot of fun. I love swimming. That's exactly how I feel. Thank you. Okay, I'm here with Chelsea Asbury from the girls' basketball team. Tell us a little bit about your season. Um, our season. And our other players decided, like, we all stepped up to the plate and did a lot of good things and had a lot of good plays and just really worked hard during the season and showed, it showed a lot. Congratulations to the basketball team. I'm sure you guys had a great season. So, some of the athletes we we're going to interview skipped out on us. Right now, we're going to find them. Okay, guys, what were some of your star athletes on the team? Mr. Falasco right here, had a breakout season, started. And also Scooter Zlotnik. <laughs> Scott Scooter Zlotnik. And we had some uh, solid seniors, Ryan Oaks, Jamie McNichol, and Liam McGrath. My senior leadership. They played well. Freshman sensation, P.I. Charles. <laughs> How was your season overall, guys? Uh, the best. We didn't play that well, but I mean, we always came out and played hard. Disappointing season, big wins against Ridley and Springfield. Yeah, and solid win on Springfield. Yeah, big senior night win against Springfield. I mean, Ridley. Overtime against Springfield. Yeah. All right, thank you guys, but we gotta go off and find more athletes. <laughs> Here with me, I have Eric Lee, part of the wrestling team, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about his season. Uh, I was 31 and four this season. Um, I made it to districts. Jimmy Knapp, Sean O'Reilly, Luke and Matt Moriarty made it to districts too. And uh, Luke and Matt are at Regions this weekend up at uh, Oxford. So come up and support. Yeah, that's part of our wrestling team right there. Here I am with Dom Tao, one of our star divers. Can you tell us about who else on the team went, did pretty well this season? Everybody did pretty well this season. Everybody got a lot better. Ryan Bergstrom got a lot better. Anthony Acquilla got a lot better. Kevin Gallagher, Tom Wanley, all the dudes got a lot better. Girls did great this year. Kelly Quinn did awesome. She got like sixth in district. She's going to states. That's all right, it. that's awesome. Sounds like you guys had a great season. Yep. Sure. Here's Luke Kim from our track. He's going to talk about the team and how they did. Uh, we had a pretty good season. Uh, we had. People like Ed Donnelly, Steve Hand, uh, Dan O'Toole, Ed Howie uh, really stepped up for us today. Not today, uh, this season. Uh, we, we had some people almost make states, but uh, a few people got like ripped off, so they didn't make it. But uh, we're just training, it's just training for spring track, so come out for winter track. It's, I mean, spring track. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a wrap up for most of our winter sports basketball, diving, swimming. Good job, guys. I'm sure all you guys had great seasons, and I'm proud of you. I was reporting you. <laughs> That's a wrap for you, Trudy, and sports. In the fall of 2009, Haverford High School will offer for the first time a course entitled Videography. Videography is a combination of disciplines that used to be covered under broadcasting 
and video editing and it is being combined with the curriculum that Apple provides for a video journalism class. Many of our programs will be broadcast on Channel 11 as well as the Internal Schools Channel for HVision. Videography will include video journalism, documentaries, musical videos, commercials, public service announcements, and we will also take advantage of video contests that come along, this, such as C-SPAN's Get Out the Vote contest earlier this year. The course will be centered around 12 units designed by Apple. The first unit is entitled Video Journalism. Uh, in this part of the course, the students will get a general definition of journalism, uh, and they'll learn about the responsibility of journalists to truth and objectivity. The second unit will be about developing the idea for the story. They'll get an introduction to the production of a story, they'll learn about the roles of the production team, what an interesting story has, whether it's newsworthy or not, and how to pitch a story so that they can be assigned to actually produce it. The first craft they'll learn is editing. This is very similar to what we've been teaching in the video editing class. We'll be using Final Cut Pro, 20 will be uh, laptops, MacBooks, uh, so that we get maximum flexibility in the studio itself so we can go from producing stories to instructing as a classroom. The fourth unit is planning the story. In this unit the students will learn how to identify primary and secondary sources whether it's for a news story or an athletic event or a school event. They'll learn about interviewing, documenting sources, they'll also learn about the ethics of journalism. Unit 5 will be about the second craft, the camera itself. They'll learn how to use the camera confidently, they'll learn its parts, its capabilities, when to use which camera, how to compose a shot, how to make sure that the, the shot itself will be interesting. In Unit 6, they'll be producing the story for video. This is where they'll assign roles and responsibilities for various parts of the story. They'll identify their technical requirements, the components of that story. They'll decide what kind of shots they need to make and what type of equipment they're going to need to take. Unit 7 is scripting the story. They'll learn about the screening room. They'll learn how to not only script the story, but to format the story and then to edit the story so that it fits the format that we need for the final video product. Unit 8 will be the students on assignment. This is where the students will work as a team to produce a fully developed story. This unit will be repeated throughout the semester as some students will finish some of the earlier units more quickly than others, they will take the forefront in becoming production managers. Unit 9 is the third craft. This is where we talk about lighting. Uh, in the video you see some of the lighting that we're currently using, but we're going to have rack lighting installed in the studio itself, and the students will learn about the different values of lights that are needed. Unit 10 is the fourth craft, that of sound. The students will learn the basics of sound recording and the use of microphones, both lavaliers, handheld mics, boom mics. They'll also learn how to solve the problems that happen when you record in the field. Unit 11 will introduce motion graphics. We'll use programs such as LiveType and other illustration programs in order to create images which can be worked in with the video themselves to make the videos that much more interesting. Finally, Unit 12, On the Air. Students will work as a team to put together stories they've created for broadcast as a coherent program with a mixture of live and taped elements. So they'll be putting together pretty much everything they've learned throughout the semester. And once again, this unit will be repeated several times for some who, who achieved the earlier units much more successfully.